In a recent statement, guys, Simon Ekba raised concerns by announcing Shetima is done with an undisclosed hinnels. This declaration has sparked speculation and debate, prompting questions about the health of the Nigerian second in, in command. As a nation awaits further clarification, the public is left pondering the implications and potential consequences of this revelation. First and foremost, the lack of transparency surrounding the Vice President Shetima's health raises understandable apprehension among the populace. In a democratic society, citizens have the right to be informed about the well-being of their elected officials, especially those occupying high-ranking positions within the government. Without clear and conscious information, rumors and conjecture can flourish, leading to uncertainty and distrust among the populace. Furthermore, the uncertainty regarding the Vice President Shetima's health introduces a layer of instability into Nigeria's political landscape as a key figure in the government. The vice president plays a crucial role in decision-making processes and the overall functioning of the administration. If incapacitated or unable to fulfill their duties, there could be significant ramifications for governance, policy implementation, and national stability. The statement by Simon Ekba also underscores the importance of accountability and transparency within Nigerians' political uh, leadership. Elected officials have a responsibility to be functioning about their health status, particularly when it pertains to their ability to effectively discharge their duties. Failure to do so not only erodes public trust, but also raises questions about integrity and credibility of the government as a whole. Taking to his ex account, formerly Twitter, Ekpa wrote, Shetima is done with an undisclosed illness. The Boko Haram vice president is critically ill with an undisclosed illness. Why the drug? Lord President is cooling lifelessly in Paris. As doctors struggle to revive him, another heel nurse has struck Shetima. Official bath battery is one bar, Shetima battery is two bar. Moreover, the announcement reignites conversations about the need for robust healthcare infrastructure and support systems for public officials regardless of one's position of status. Access to quality health care should be a fundamental right. The revelation of the Vice President Shetima's undisclosed illness serves as a reminder of the vulnerability of public figures and the importance of prioritizing their health and well-being. As a nation awaits further updates on Vice President Shetima's health, it is imperative for authorities to provide timely and accurate information to the public. Transparency is essential in maintaining public trust and confidence in the government's ability to address challenges and fulfill its obligations. In conclusion, Simon Ekba's statement regarding the Vice President Shetima on the on, on, on disclosed illness has sparked widespread speculation and concern. The lack of transparency surrounding the vice president's health raises questions about accountability, stability, and the overall integrity of Nigerians' political leadership. As the situation unfolds, it is crucial for the authorities to prioritize transparency and provide the public with clear and accurate information 
Ultimately, the well-being of elected officials should be a priority and if threat must be made to ensure that they receive the necessary support and cares to fulfill their duties effectively. So Nigerians are patiently waiting for the presidency at least to react to all these allegations by Simon Ekba. In the first place, he said President Bola Tinubu did not return to Nigeria, contrary to what the presidency had announced that President Bola Tinubu had returned to Nigeria on Wednesday this week. Simon Ekba said it was a lie that even the video that was released was an old video. A majority of Nigerians are still asking the presidency to release President Bola Metinubu's current uh, uh, pictures, videos, where he is coming down from plane and the uh, pictures and everything as usual. You understand? You know, say if they do something before, you're not going to do them again. If they give rooms to so many talks. And that is what is happening now. And for the president to stay away from the country for two, two weeks without any word from the presidency until when Nigerians, you know, started asking questions, they now said he's coming back on Wednesday. The next day they said he's back to Nigeria. And now, majority of Nigeria did not still believe that President Bola Metinubo do did came back to Nigeria because they said the normal way of the presidency, you know, uh, the, the 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 their tradition of uh, uh, releasing videos, why President Bola Metinubo is stamping down in the uh, Nandaziki ways, um, airports and all that, that did not happen. Now Simon Ekpa has, has said another one again. So the whole thing is really compiling. I think the presidency needs to speak out about all these allegations by the IPOB agitator, Simon Ekpa. I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly drop your comment below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Share this video. Share this video, let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is going on. Please, like us. Thank you.